What's cracking everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and we are installing carpet in a haunted house. Now you may ask, how do I know it's a haunted house? Look at that bed right there. That is the bed from every single haunted house movie. So yes, this creepy ass house had ghosts. Anyway, we are removing the old carpet and padding to get started here. And I don't know if you noticed in the beginning of the video, there was two red spots on the carpet. That was the original carpet color and not blood from a horror movie massacre. It was actually red carpet at one time and it was like 50 year old carpet and the sun actually bleached it out to that nice yellow beigey funk. So anyway, we can't get all the furniture out of these rooms because it'll take too much to break it all down, put it back together. So we are going to slide it from side to side and position it onto the seam areas as we set up the carpet. So we're getting all the new spill block padding down. That's the good stuff. Easy to cut, easy to work with, and lasts a lifetime, which is like five years in the carpet game. So we're taking our plush carpet, getting it all laid out here. Once it's positioned on the one side, we're going to pick up the bed, set it on the middle there. So I can go ahead and stretch everything in. And then from there, we could stage out the rest of the areas. Here's the seam to the room. Just cutting down the seam, getting it taped. And I'm going to overlap the cross seam. Go ahead and cut both edges like that. And mark it down the middle like I've done in countless other videos. You could check those out if you want to know exactly how to do that in real time. Burn the cross seam. And now we're going to go ahead and do the length seam. Get it all put together. Good to go. So the best way to do this, I like to cook them hot. You're not allowed to do that if you are new to this. Cook it between two and three on the iron dial. Wait about 10 to 15 seconds and slide it an iron's length forward, putting the seam together until you get to the other side. Slide the iron out, you're good to go. Now I got my set wall there. We went ahead and trimmed and tucked that. I cut down all the walls to a manageable two and a half inches or so. And then go ahead and kick it up with the knee kicker with the kicker head about two inches away from the wall. Super fast, just like that. Did you like that? I hope you did. It was a cool thing. Now you go ahead and trim and tuck it. And when you're cutting it down, make sure you cut it about an eighth to a quarter inch hefty. And it should tuck beautifully right along the baseboards there. And we're just working our way around the room continuing to stretch everything on until all areas are tight and tucked and good to go. We'll go ahead and finish out these last little sections here and then we're going to dive into a new job site where we're removing ugly Berber carpet and here we go. Look at this Berber carpet in its a day. This was some phenomenal carpet, but it's been there for a good 15 to 20 years and it is time to swap it out. You got the old funky padding all stapled and stuck to the floor from spills and staples and everything else. So we're going to go ahead, get all the carpet out, and then we're going to do some scraping where all the staples are. You could use a flat shovel. You could use your shoe, just rubbing it back and forth if you want to keep it real hood like that. Just get the floor nice, clean, prepped, ready to go. See us running around with a little scraper there, getting it cleaned up, get everything swept up, and then it's time for new padding. So once again, in this job site, we're going to be using the 716's 8-pound spill block padding. Not only is it a good product, but it's very installer friendly. It cuts easy, installs easy, everything's good. And then we're doing a nice uh, mid-grade plush carpet, pretty dense, good to go. Go ahead and kick on my set wall there. I'm going to trim and tuck it so everything's good. Then I'm going to head over to the opposite wall from the one I just kicked. Stretch that on hard. Throw a good tight stretch on it and trim and tuck. And then fall back to the set walls just tapping those on nice and easy. Flowing over to the opposite walls and blasting them on to make sure the room is completely stretched tight and no bubble issues whatsoever. Now that's the lazy man's trick right there. You see how I did that kind of little slide under the door? Who wants to pop a door off if you don't have to? Here is the big room here. We got a 24 foot drop room, meaning there are no seams in it. Setting this up the same exact way, do your set wall, then stretch the opposite wall on nice and hard, and then go ahead and do the side wall. And then there's the hard wall right there as well. Here's where it's gonna get interesting, you see that? Half inch short, so I lock the crab stretcher onto it to go ahead and wrap it over the edge, make sure I got the stretch nice and tight. Now I'm cutting and burning the final seam and I'm good to go. So that's all there is to this. I hope you found this somewhat entertaining. Go ahead and tap the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.